fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Beast Combiner 2-pack of Scourge and Predacon Scorponok from the Transformers Rise of the Beast line from Hasbro. You can see up here this is part of the Beast Alliance subline. And we're finally getting some more villains in this line. I appreciate getting some villains because it's been nothing but Autobots and, and Maximals so far. So very excited to get this. Uh, Scourge, you know, looking okay. We'll take a look. Uh, Predacon Scorponok I think looks pretty cool. We have this standard uh, plastic-free packaging where they're just kind of zip-tied onto this card here. Not really anything going on down below. Uh, over here, we get some artwork of Scourge. Over here, more Scourge. Not really anything going on down the bottom. And then over here on the back, we have some product shots of Scourge in robot mode and vehicle mode. And then we have Scorponok, and of course, them combined with the Scorponok armor which I think looks pretty cool. I'm really excited for this one. So I'm going to go ahead, get everything out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. So here are Scourge and Scorponok out of the packaging. Uh, we'll start with Scorponok because he's kind of basic. He doesn't have a robot mode. He does have a little bit of articulation. The arms can move here at this kind of elbow joint, and then the claws can also rotate around. It's kind of hard to not start to move this part, though, when you do that, but you can rotate that around, and that moves in and out. Also, the tail can kind of move around. It can only go about that far forward. It stops, but it can move back and forth this way. Uh, otherwise, pretty good paint. Uh, not a ton, I guess, but it is pretty good. You have the eyes painted here, a little bit up here. Everything else is pretty much just done in different colored plastic, but it works. I think it's pretty cool. You can actually pop the tail off. This will slide out like that, and then you can use this as a weapon for Scourge. Just goes ahead and pops right into his open hand there. And then you've got this kind of tail club weapon, which is kind of neat. So we'll put that off to the side for the moment. And we'll take a closer look at Scourge. Uh, head sculpt is pretty good. I like the painted eyes. I think that looks pretty good. You have the chest plate here. He's got the chains kind of going around the arm. Over here on this side as well, we have the Terracon symbol here on the shoulder. I think this is just different colored plastic here, but we've got a little bit of silver paint here. And you'll see a lot more paint once we get to the truck mode. But yeah, he's not too bad. Uh, doesn't really have anything in the head. This can kind of lift up and down because of transformation. So I guess if you want to use that for articulation, you can. Otherwise, we have a ball joint here in the shoulder. The arms are one solid piece, but there is a ball joint here for the claw hand. So you can kind of move that around. Uh, this arm is one solid piece, just has the ball joint at the shoulder. Nothing in the waist. You have a ball joint here in the hip and kick pretty far forward, pretty far back, and pretty far out to the side. I guess technically because of the transformation, he does have knees, but I would say maybe only 45 degrees, something like that. So not really too much going on there. Uh, yeah, he's a fun little figure. Just to do some size comparisons, here is Optimus Prime. From the Weaponizer 2-pack, you can see that they're about the same size, so I feel like that works pretty well. Everything in this line is about the same size, which is pretty cool. And then we have uh, Scorponok, the Target exclusive, also from the Weaponizer 2. He's a Weaponizer 2-pack. So we've got two different forms of Scorponok here. Let me go ahead and put the tail back in here. So we've got two different forms of Scorponok here, one that does have a robot mode, one that does not. But also, these guys are about the same size as well. So I really like the Beast Alliance. They're just fun, simple little toys. They scale well with each other, and I like how they have all the different, you know, weapons that you can transform into little critters and stuff like that. I think that's pretty cool. And also, uh, Scourge, even though he is a Beast uh, Armor 2-pack, he can use all of the little weaponizers. So it can still peg into his hand here. No problem. He's even got some ports on the side of the arm. You could peg it in there if you wanted to. He's got one over here as well. I think those are the only two that he has. Can we use the armor? I've never actually tried this before, but can we use the armor? Well, the head gets in the way, but... Yeah, it looks like those are the same as well. So that's kind of cool. So, decent little figure, decently painted, doesn't have the best articulation, but it's not bad. And I like that they can all use the little Beast Alliance partners, so I think that's pretty fun. First up, we will do the transformation for Scourge. Transformation for Scourge is very, very simple. We're going to start by just rotating the head back 
and it's going to sit in this little cavity right there. Then we're going to take the arms, unhook them, and rotate them around 180 degrees like so. They don't really clip in anywhere, they just kind of rest there. You're going to sandwich the two legs together like this and then open up the shins. And then this is just going to rotate around. Now you can see that there's kind of like a little cutout here. That is for the claw arm. So like this kind of comes up and rests in there. Um, it looks like there's some kind of spot over here as well that maybe the hand is supposed to peg into. But you don't really have to worry about it. And honestly, you don't really have to worry about the hand pegging in either. You're just going to close these up and there you go. There's your truck mode. So it's very simple. Uh, rolls decently well. Let me zoom in here some more. So like I said, definitely a lot of paint here. You have some nice gunmetal gray here for the grill. Over here for the smokestacks on the side. Nice yellow paint for the windows. I think that all works really well. But it's very obvious. You can just see... You know the hands here you can see the head underneath the feet are still hanging out so it's a very basic transformation here is prime that we took a look at earlier you can see that they are about the same size in vehicle mode prime's a little bit taller but lengthwise they are about the same so they could definitely have some head-on collisions so yeah i think they scale pretty well together And I just wanted to do a comparison real quick with all the Scorpions in Scorpion mode. So this is the, uh, you know, Weaponizer 2-pack. They both are Scorpions. Then we have the Armor Scorpionox. So basically we've got some Scorpions now. We can start to kind of recreate that battle at the end of the movie where they're just ripping Scorpions apart left and right. So this probably would be a good army builder. If these go on clearance at Target, I might pick up another one or two of these. Um, just because then he's kind of like a foot soldier. Um... But yeah, I like having these all together like this. So a very quick transform back to robot mode and we are ready to attach the armor. I'm going to go ahead and slide the tail off. And one thing I didn't show off before that I think is kind of cool. Uh, these can kind of move around, but you see that they kind of have this like corner piece. So that when you slide this in, these pieces on the side kind of push them and hold them into place. And now they won't move. I think that's pretty neat. Simple little engineering trick, but very cool. Going to put that off to the side. We have the two large pegs here, which are going to peg into the shoulder peg slots. And we're just going to go ahead and peg that in. Then we are going to push this down and then also bring it down and drop it into place. And that'll clip it down really nice and tight. And now the legs are kind of like cool shoulder pads, which I really like. You can do whatever you want with the scorpion arms. You can either have them hang straight down or you can, you know, 45 degree angle, 90 degree angle, whatever you like. I kind of like to have them just hang straight down and then I have his hands come up like this. But there we go. There is the scorpion armor. I think it looks pretty cool. I really like the helmet. I think that works really well. I love the visor, the gray around the visor, the head sculpt, just all that I think looks really, really cool. I really like the scorpion legs as the shoulder pads there. And then plus he's got kind of like extra arms, you know, he can, uh, you know, attack, fire, blast, whatever he's doing with that. And then of course he can still hold the weapon if he is so inclined. So very, very cool. I like this quite a bit. I really do like this armor. I think it works pretty well. And I just wanted to demonstrate very quickly that the armors are still completely interchangeable. So any of the Beast Armor 2 packs, you can switch the armor and the accessories, and I think that's a lot of fun. I actually really like this a lot. Granted, the Scourge figure is not the best. Limited articulation, the transformation into the truck doesn't really hide a lot of the robot parts. But I still think it's a lot of fun. I absolutely love the armor design. I think that head sculpt is fantastic. I love having the scorpion legs as the shoulder pads. The accessories are really cool. So I think the armor part of this is what really makes it for me. But again, it's just fun to get more villains because we really don't have a lot of villains in the Beast Alliance. So I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, I just think this is really cool. I like it a lot. I'm just really loving this gimmick. And it kind of just dawned on me, you know, with the like little weaponizer guys and then these armor pieces it's almost kind of like headmasters and target masters and i think that's why i love it i've always loved those kinds of gimmicks in transformers and so this is kind of just applying those types of gimmicks 
to the new movie, and I think it did a really great job. They're fun little Transformers. You can transform them back and forth very easily, which I appreciate. Sometimes you want that really detailed, beautiful masterpiece figure. Sometimes you just want something you can play with and transform back and forth really quickly. So, you know, depending on what you're in the mood for, I definitely think this is a lot of fun. I found this at Target. I believe they're starting to show up on Amazon as well. So if you're looking for this one, definitely check Amazon. Uh, but I don't know that we have too many more of these. I think there's a Optimus Prime with a white lion, which I'm definitely on the hunt for. Uh, after that, I think there's an RC uh, Weaponizer 2-pack that comes with a Cheetor. And that might be starting to wind down. I know the movie's already on home media, so I guess they're not going to keep making toys for it. But I had a lot of fun with this subline, and I really hope we get a couple more releases before they end it. So I think this was great. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.